Good to see you again. Nice to see you. How are you? Good. How are you? Um, Thanks. So I will turn over Good to see you. Yeah. 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 Hello, everyone. Yes, oh. and so uh, thank you uh, for all of you for having me here. My name is Nobuaki Tonaka from Japan. And my name is uh, rather long, so just call me Nob. Not the boat. No, no, no. I am the founder of Universal Shell Programming Laboratory Limited. Uh, the reason I have come all the way from Tokyo is CEO and introduce the new software development method, uh, the Unicage and Unicage Data Analytic Tool. I hope you find it is useful for you. And uh, I, in Japan, work uh, surrounded by uh, Japanese enterprises and uh, the members of enterprise of Japan are saying always, oh, there are many, many problems in computer <coughs> system. Uh, isn't there a more speedy computation method for my computation calculation? Or, uh, yes, there is uh, but too much to run the programming. And, uh, or, let's use this one, but uh, very expensive or uh, big iron and so on. Yeah. And for this problem, Unicage might be the answer. So I will explain about the Unicage. Okay. Yes, and this is the menu content uh, I will explain from now. Uh, this, uh, our, my uh, presentation uh, has uh, three sections. A Unicage introduction and the Unicage cluster, BOA, BOA, big data oriented architecture, and three, a live demo. And Unicage itself uh, is not a package. Unicage itself is a method of utilize the Unix fundamentals and plain text file as a database. We do not any relational databases. And we only use a flat text file only. And uh, we uh, write uh, application uh, only using the shell script, not using Java or any other language. We only use shell script to build up the system. It is not a software package. Uh, for hardware infra infrastructure, it requires only uh, a machine uh, running a Unix like OS. And uh, based uh, on the Unicage method, the Unicage framework consists of three main factors. The first factor is data analytics tool, analytics tool and command set. And most of the tools are developed in C language or assembler. And, and, and the command is designed to work efficiently with one another through the shell pipe. Each command uh, is connected with pipes. Uh, so it is designed as a filter. Uh, the command design is Unix oriented, which means uh, simple is best and do one job well. Yeah, the, we are dedicated to the Unix philosophy. And second one is text data management, which is a technique to organize data. Uh, as I said, 
we does not we do not use any databases, so we have to arrange or organize data in advance. In Unicage, data is arranged five layers, and uh, we strongly recommended uh, the end users' involvement, especially level three data data structure. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will talk about the text data management afterwards. And the third factor is a standardization standard of shell programming, uh, which is a basic shell programming rule that we recommend. Well, uh, shell programming is easy, you know, uh, but it, it does not mean anyone can do uh, simple and efficient programming. That's why we say standardization standard. Yeah, standard is necessary for shell programming, I think. Uh, keep the program as short as possible and design software functions independently to allow system flexibility. Yeah. And next. Well, if you would like to do some data analysis, Unicage tool is uh, very useful, but however, to build up data um, analysis, uh, uh, to build up data and analytic <coughs> software or system, uh, you need to understand the uh, uh, basic architecture of Unicage. Uh, these are three parts of Unicage uh, software architecture for the data cycle. Uh, the Unicage may be the data oriented method architecture. And uh, input script is for interface part, which raw data is received and create script, create shell script is for uh, a part of uh, where data is organized for application. And the application part is output script. And, um, and every shell script is categorized into three types of shell script. And uh, so back to the data organization. We are uh, in the level from one to three, one to three, uh, data is organized, collated, and stored completely, uh, in the, uh, completely independently uh, from the application. Yeah. And in level four, data is specifically arranged for each application. And level five data is output data from each application, uh, for example, uh, logs or data for other systems and so on. And level data, level one data is a raw data and it is the most important data and uh, uh, the data cannot be lost and stored permanently. Well, this may seem like the amount of data grows as it is being created. Yeah, and we store uh, any type of data permanently. So that means uh, it requires uh, much, much hard disk um, and because the data is uh, every time increasing. Now we never erase data. So, uh, but thanks to the big data storage, uh, I think uh, storage doesn't matter anymore because the cost of hard disk goes down and down drastically in these days. So it is no matter to store data permanently. Okay. And now at this point, uh, you can almost make use of the Unicage framework. But one thing I'd like to explain is the Unicage mind or philosophy. Uh, <laughs> it is a separation. It is a concept of separation. Uh, the data uh, program and the hardware is uh, uh, separated by business and organization and application. Yeah, uh, I'm Japanese and uh, to say separate, to understand, is assigned by the same Japanese word. Wakeru. Wakeru. Wakeru means divide and separate 
and uh, it means uh, also understand. So for Japanese, to understand is to separate. So we arrange data uh, separately. All data is separated according to the business and organization and so on. And <coughs> And uh, yeah, and this policy uh, makes the total system simple and flexible, and uh, it allows <coughs> us to understand the system. But about sharing data, uh, the principle of Unicage data management, we copy from original data to arrange to uh, organize data. So, and you in database, uh, physically data is exist only in one substance. But uh, in Unicage, uh, many, many data which has the same meaning. But we distinguish uh, the original data and correlated correct data. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> OK. <coughs> and in Unicage, uh, develop method, re uh, development process is unique. And uh, we have no any databases. So in the first step, and at the first step of development, at first, uh, uh, develop shell scripts for receiving and organizing data. Yeah, we create data in advance. And second step, we make an application. So uh, of course, uh, we, uh, yeah, in the first stage, we write on a shell scripts for creating data, and the next step, the application is written by shell scripts. Also, uh, yeah, both are written in shell scripts. And uh, data creation uh, is, uh, uh, yeah, uh, is object to the rules of level management. And yeah, and uh, to understand the Unicage, uh, let's uh, do a simple demo from now on. I now log in the server in Japan. Yeah, from internet. And see the port. Yeah, it is a simple demo of uh, making a report of sales report uh, using Unicage. And all data is uh, organized as a text file, and there are text files. And this is a transaction file, sales file, and the size of this data file is about one million byte, over one million byte. And the, uh, let's see the head of the file. Yeah. And the, uh, the data indicates from the left, there is one, it's a shop code, and there is a seven, is an item code, and this is the sales date <coughs> and quantity, dollars, and discount. And uh, how many records are uh, in this? <coughs> uh, let's use L line count command. It is uh, one of the Unicage commands. And about, uh, yeah. Uh, three million, over three million records. Yeah. And this is a transaction file. And next in the, uh, for example, the master file like uh, net price, hmm? price file. Yeah. The price file. So, so how is that line count command different than the normal line count? Ah, yes, yes. 
uh, a double C command uh, output and uh, additional data what we don't use. Uh, for example, yeah. Output the uh, number of lines and the uh, number of words and uh, total bytes and the name of the file. Mm -hmm. It's about the uh, four information. What we want is the uh, number of files, number of records only. So it is more useful uh, than WC. And yeah. Don't wait. Oh, just it's not going to Oh, 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 it's not going to happen. It's not Yes, this is the head of uh, sales data. I explained that the uh, shop code, item code, date, uh, quantity, and the data, and the discount. And another file is price file. 
and the net price and the standard sales price. It's the item code here. And the next file, category. This is the item code and uh, the uh, category code which belongs, uh, which the item belongs to. And the last file is a category <coughs> name file. And the category code and the category name. And, uh, and, and combining these four text files, uh, let's make a, a sales report by using a Unicage command. And the first step is to <coughs> join uh, two files. And using the join one command, P equal two. Two is the uh, position of connect column. And price mm -hmm. and save. And this is a, stand, uh, a Unicage command, and uh, it's designed to output, standard output, <coughs> and work one. So <coughs> another file, output, and the work file. And head, work one. And let's check the uh, content of work one file. And uh, yes, yeah, certainly uh, the net price and the sales standard price is connected just after the item code. And the next, join one category. Oh, yes. Yes, and the category code is also connected, joined. And third step, using aircal command. Aircal command uh, provides a calibration function. And it's like uh, oak semantics, AWK command semantics. It's right, it's right. Those three. Uh, third column means uh, category. And, and seventh, the quantity. Eight, data. And eight minus four by Seven. And that means uh, sales minus uh, net price by uh, quantity. So that means somehow uh, profit. Yeah, Erica command uh, supports a very precise uh, floating number. And uh, the point <coughs> is 16 lengths of a floating point. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, many, many zero, it means uh, the, the very precise calculation for a floating point. And red sorting by the category code. And let's <coughs> use msort command. msort means uh, merge sort algorithm. And key equal uh, one means the first column and work three. Output what for? But the total records is uh, three million. Yeah, and the MSO uh, 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 provides a, a merge process, merge strutting uh, function. So if we indicate uh, add a uh, hyphen P eight option, uh, the parallel eight, eight thread is parallel. So it goes faster than before. And let's check the output. And next, summarize group by category code. And SM2 command is a sum up command. And one, one, two, four means from one to one uh, columns is a key. And from second to fourth is a columns which must be summed up. <coughs> oh.
and this is the result of summarization. And next step is, uh, yeah, it's uh, the, this uh, digit is rather large, so uh, to make it simpler, uh, use dvk command. dvk means uh, divided by one kilo, one thousand. dvk, a second field and a third and fourth field. And the next SM5 command from one to one is a key field, and from two to four columns is a uh, sum up command, a sum up columns. Oh. And next, using the op command, let's calculate the ratio a percent of uh, profit. Oh. <coughs> Uh, profit divided by total sales. Yeah. And the next step is uh, uh, to round up the floating point. Use round up command. Round, round command. And the one, two, three, four, five. Uh, fifth field to round up one floating point. Yeah. And uh, to join the name of category, use C join to command. to add the comma string, comma character, by three, uh, every three digits. I uh, use comma, comma command, and uh, three, four, five columns. Yeah. And two beautified, uh, fix code, fix code. And work to oh, it's cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. F cold. F cold. F cold. F cold. Yeah. It's a different name in Japanese. Yeah. He's gonna use an English person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so uh, so yeah. As Ryan said, as Jim said, uh, the the sum of the commands are Japanese word. So uh, for this presentation, uh, we uh, yeah prepare our English word for a Japanese command, but just a symbolic ring. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, uh, and uh, this is how to make a report. And let's show history. Yeah, uh, these are the commands I input. So, and copy and paste to text file. That is a shell script. So, sample. Yeah, this is a shell script. Uh, every command I input uh, just before. So let's oh. let's take the time, check the time, see the time. Yeah, about four seconds. Uh, three million records of transaction is summarized and uh, to made to a report. And this is the first step of Unicage. And the, uh, it is easy to use uh, each command. And the command line is very easy. There's a little option, few option. And uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, the command, uh, the number of commands we frequently use is about 30 to 40. But we provide uh, commands, uh, the total number is about uh, 160 or so. Mm. Yeah, and the next step is it, uh, it shell script does the same things as the sample one. And but uh, each command is connected with pipe. There's no temporary file. Check, compare, sample, and 
Yeah. The previous uh, shell script uses a temporary file. Input file is a work, blah, 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 and output is work, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but the second sample is all command is connected. So uh, according to the Unix fundamentals, uh, each command runs uh, or are executed at the same time on the parallel process. And the uh, command itself, uh, the pipe itself, is a memory about uh, four kilobyte size. So that means uh, on-memory parallel processing. <laughs> so let's see the time. This is a yeah. Yeah, about 2.5 seconds. It's faster than before. And the total time of CPU time, 3.0 plus 0 0.8, is uh, longer than 2.5. That means the parallel processing is effective. Okay. Yeah, that's a simple demo. Yeah, as I said, uh, uh, yeah, this is the old command set. It's a list of command set. And the uh, yeah draw line DBK C sound and this is the English word and the original name a uh, Japanese name so let's see uh, L command uh, yeah L command we just a symbolic link to Japanese word go go uh, <coughs> it's my pleasure to use this Japanese original command <laughs> 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 so. Let's say go. <laughs> no, no word count or no line count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then next, uh, back to the presentation seat. Yeah. And as, as I explained, uh, to get faster computation, uh, utilize the hardware resources more efficiently with shell pipes. Yeah, and from the kernel version 2.6 of Linux, uh, the each uh, process is shared among each core according to the workload. And the uh, pipe uh, enables the parallel processing, so uh, it works very fast, if century. Okay. So uh, we need not any uh, multi-thread programming. Uh, just combine with pipe, uh, we can easily uh, utilize the power of multi core. And uh, to use a shell script, uh, there, are, there may be uh, many, many questions. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it is a typical question and answer. Yeah, how to implement specific processes. Uh, and uh, yeah, for example, how about exclusive lock, right, RDB? But uh, every command uh, is made from C, made by C language, and uh, we wrap uh, system calls, all system calls of Unixes, into a command in form of command. So we utilize every function of system calls. So the uh, exclusive lock function is provided by OS by using flock system call or a symbolic read and so on. So we lap the function of OS uh, uh, system calls and we made up the command Europe and so on. And uh, yeah, order control, a uh, commit, oh how about commit? <laughs> and a uh, bit commit, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, we use a uh, uh, yeah, uh, normal file system, so make a decision based on a return value from OS system call, uh, write system call. If write system call returns zero, return true, uh, it is just commit, committed. And uh, how about rollback? And in databases, the rollback function is important, but uh, using Unicate, all files is uh, processed from input files to another output file. So that means every history uh, remains. Every history remains. 
So we, uh, we go to uh, the any point, uh, whatever we, uh, wherever we like. And the, uh, the parallel processing, yeah, of course, using a pipe or so, parallel processing is uh, possible. But uh, we provide uh, a para and crust command series. And using these commands, uh, we, uh, it is very easy to utilize the parallel uh, process. Yeah, and next. And next, let's move on to the next, uh, next uh, section. A uh, unicage cluster, BOR, uh, big data oriented architecture. Yeah, it is a command set, a uh, cluster and part of command sets. Yes. Uh, BOR is a cluster computing appliance and dedicated to big data processing based on unicage development methods. It is implemented in Unix OS with original unicage shell and Bubun file system. Bubun file system is like a, a, is a kernel patch, and uh, we customize a write or read system call. And uh, the big file, uh, yeah, for example, uh, 10 gigabyte or so, uh, uh, can be seen as uh, many, uh, many of small files. So we customize OSs. Yeah. And yeah. And this is a feature of BOR. Yeah, OS space, yeah. It is runs on now Linux and FreeBSD. And scale out type, uh, like Hadoop. If you want to uh, increase the power of the cluster, uh, just uh, what you do is to increase the number of slave, slave, uh, slave servers only. And uh, yes, of course, high speed processing. And uh, yeah, it, it, it works uh, as a regional uh, servers, PC servers, so inexpensive hardware uh, can be used in this board. And of course, uh, for, uh, we provide these uh, product as a business, so maintenance support we provide, and stability. Uh, yeah, there's a very simple structure uh, based on Unix, so it is very stable. Yeah. yeah, here is a basic cluster configuration. Yeah, one master and uh, several uh, slave servers. And each server uh, has installed, been installed Unix and the commands only. And, uh, and the network between servers and clusters uh, are the infinite band high speed network. Yeah. And how it works is you will, uh, you will write shell scripts only in master server. Yeah, so if the uh, server is heavy or uh, it takes time to process, proceed, proceed data, uh, what we have to do is to increase the number of slave servers. And uh, this server is empty, except uh, OS and commands only, no settings. And uh, when the big data is uh, uh, given to the master server, and uh, the Bubun file system works and divide it to uh, many, many small files, and send to each small file to slave servers, and the shell script exists only in master server, and using cluster shell commands, the algorithm is sent to each uh, slave server, and so, uh, and so that the slave server can execute shell scripts, and uh, and uh, it is uh, there is a data uh, sent from the uh, master, so the server, the each uh, slave server can uh, uh, calculate uh, and the return back to the master server, and uh, editing uh, something. And out, and uh, uh, output the result. Yeah, uh, this is the image of shell cluster. Uh, shell cluster uh, programming. Yeah. Can you go back to the previous slide? Are you, are you saying the 
slave machine has no connection with the file system, baboon file system? Uh, uh, yeah, baboon file is uh, only installed in this master file. It okay. is a normal file system, ext 3 or 4. Okay. Mm. No customization. There is uh, only uh, uh, yeah, ordinary file system and, and uh, it works in a usual shell script, shell unicate command only. Okay. And this is the image of shell script uh, using bore. But the, uh, the image of shell scripting is the same as a normal shell scripting. Each command is connected with pipe. <laughs> And only uh, during, uh, in during a big data, use crest command or para command or crest command. But to, uh, to uh, uh, yeah, if uh, summarize the big data to uh, uh, somehow uh, small data, and we can use a, a normal command. So uh, this uh, shell script uh, provides a much core on memory and cluster we utilize, we can utilize. And uh, there is a very simple setting file in the cluster shell programming. The, this is, uh, this slave file, the name slave file is, a, is just only a, a setting file. Uh, the content of the slave file indicates the, uh, the name of slave servers and the number of parallel processing only. Uh, yeah, after that, I'll show you. And this is a sample of the big data processing process. Uh, we have uh, some case studies, uh, and I'd like to share one of them. Uh, yeah, it's about an analysis of search logs of, uh, from a major uh, Korean search engine. Um, and an analysis based on text search a user IP address search, and the data size is about 5 billion records and 19.2 terabyte. Yeah. And we use shell script and level 4, and uh, use these uh, about uh, 40 or so straight servers. And uh, each uh, server is a normal PC server and Intel i7 processor, 16 gigabyte memory, and uh, usual SATA disk, a serial ADA disk. It's a normal server. And the uh, OS is, uh, in this case, uh, FreeBSD. And the uh, homework came from Korea. <laughs> and that is a uh, yeah, test SQL. Uh, yeah, sample, and but we do not use any SQL. So if you uh, write oh, uh, SQL, uh, so we convert uh, to shell programming from SQL, and uh, and uh, yeah, and see the uh, process time. And for example, uh, yeah, uh, zero three before about zero point one second and so. Uh, among the 19 to terabytes. Yeah, and after that, I will show you uh, some of the demo uh, which looks like this. And next, uh, and live demo. But this is the main part, my presentation. <laughs> yeah, and the first uh, human DNA quality check. Uh, the human DNA data is very large. And uh, we uh, uh, process the DNA quality check. And second, real-time traffic processing. And the third, the bank account deposit calculation, the search in the world population by SQL like shell programming. Yeah. And this is uh, yeah, uh, the board uh, configuration. One master and five slave servers. And every server has two CPU uh, with four cores. And then the CPU model is uh, yeah, a Xeon E3 with 3.4 gigahertz. The memory is uh, 32 gigabytes. Every server has uh, the same specification. Same specification. And connected with uh, infinite band, high speed connection.
Yeah. And the first demo, the human DNA sequence quality check. Yes, uh, we are collaborating on the genomics research with a professor from Tokyo University. And uh, well, uh, to be honest, I am I don't know much about the genomics, <laughs> so so uh, never asks me <laughs> about the genomics. <laughs> I was taught uh, the algorithm by the professor, and uh, I implemented uh, the algorithm on board. Okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so the, according to the professor. Uh, we are collaborating uh, to build up a whole genome, for example, human ge genomes. You have a number of millions of DNA-based sequence that is produced from uh, our DNA analysis machine. And in this sequence data, uh, not all the base is precisely measured, uh, but it's some uncertainty, uncertainty of correctness. So uh, this is a series of base. Uh, the base uh, consists of four characters, T or C or A or Z. But mm -hmm. uh, each base uh, is not uh, correctly measured by machine. So the uncertainty, uh, the quality score, uh, which uh, these, those characters uh, each represent the uh, uncertainty of each base, and the uh, and from uh, uh, oh this one this one forty four, and uh, each character represent a, a a quality check number from zero to forty, and forty is high and uh, more precise, and zero is uh, very uncertain. And to have a base sequence of DNA uh, with higher quality score, what we do is uh, first calculate average quality, uh, average quality score for every DNA sequence. Uh, uh, and second, average quality score for every read with a quality condition on every DNA base. And the third one, uh, is the uh, the uh, base uh, which has the same position uh, the uh, uh, calculate the maximum and minimum and uh, average and radium of each base output uh, we output and and uh, according to the professor uh, Yeah, uh, using the PC, eight core CPU, 1970 gigabyte memory, and the uh, uh, famous packet software, <coughs> FastQC, used, it uh, takes about uh, 40 <coughs> minutes to calculate the average and maximum and minimum and uh, radium of each base. And uh, using Bohr, yeah, oh. So let's return to the terminal. Uh, okay. That's a human genome genome data. Uh, there are 24 files, and they are very, very big data. And the total size of the data, LL, S2, 5, SM2 command to summarize the number of uh, size. So the uh, total size is uh, 34 gigabytes. And let's see inside the genome data. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a human genome data. Uh, 
each DNA is uh, shown uh, in four records each. And uh, red select records uh, from 34 gigabyte data. Uh, food quality check average is more than 30. Okay. And red all. Oh. This is a shell script to calculate the quality check. Yeah. There's a question. No, I'm saying you have three minutes left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, select records among the uh, big data, uh, which quality score uh, more than 30. And distribute past prior to strains. Uh, the big data you saw just before is distributed to five strain servers, and the five servers calculate quality check values at the same time. And the result, yeah, and the average value more than 30, we output result record, and about 18 seconds and more. This is a uh, result. And this is the uh, average score, 37, 30, 30, and 31, and so on. And this is the uh, human DNA. And next. And calculate each base the quality is number. Yeah, 11 seconds. Uh, we never skip any data. We calculate all the data, all the records. And in result two, uh, the uh, you know, uh, base, which quality score under 30 is overwritten by dummy character X. And third one. Yeah, four point eight. Uh, <coughs> it calculates and in each file. Uh, yeah, there are twenty four files. Uh, which shows uh, different ranks of DNA. And uh, calculating each file <coughs> and the same position of uh, genome and uh, uh, calculate the quality check number of the, the, the base of the same position. And max and minimum and regimen and average. So you can see the tendency. The, uh, the first part of genome, the score is high. 40 and, and so, but uh, 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 descending to the right side, the, the 40 score is low. So that is the uh, uh, quality of the reading machine. Yes, this is a genome. <coughs> is anyone? Uh, Quick question. If you had a data set that didn't fit in the memory of the display of nodes, still work? Would you just build a disk or? Uh, from, uh, yeah, there is a score, uh, hard disk is for, uh, yeah, yeah, sent to the uh, shared memory of, of uh, Strave servers. So the original data is stored on hard disk. Yeah, so, but uh, I mean, this data set was 32 gigs and you had 96 gigs on the, on the display as a memory. I mean, would it work if you had a 200 gig data set? あ、ゲームのメモリーの量以上にデータの量があればどうなりますか。あ、それは計算するのは難しいですね。例えば、あ、そうですね。技術アップでスレイブ、you know, to allow
Thank our speaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so by all means, I just, you know, uh, people can stay and answer or talk to you offline and stuff. I think um, if you want to send your slides to the me, we can uh, email them out to the group. Sure, sure. Or, or you can just do a URL or something like that. Or, you guys see videotaped if you want yeah, we'll to put the video up. Put the video up, just send me the information and we can get it up. So yeah. thank you very much. No, no, thank you. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.